science has in fact discovered God. And you can talk to the hardline atheists and they will say, it looks like science has indeed discovered God. How are we gonna have this idea, is there a God or not? Notice that the creation force isn't a three letter word, G-O-D. If you look at the words carefully, it's a quantum fluctuations. So look what science has discovered. We can create the universe from absolute nothing, provided we have the, the, the forces of nature. Now the laws of nature, the forces of nature aren't physical, they act on the physical. So if they create the universe, that means they predate the universe. So now we have a set of forces, we call them the laws of nature, that are not physical, that are able to act on the physical, they create the physical from absolute nothing. And they predate the universe, which means they predate our understanding of time. Put that together, it sounds very familiar. If you haven't noticed it, that's the biblical definition of God. There's only one nuance that's less, le left, left hanging. We can talk about it another time, perhaps. Is that which created the universe, those forces, active in the universe? But up to that point, science says, we you are correct. The, the definition of the biblical God is predates time, outside of time. God is not a physical being, is, is a force, and it creates the universe. You'll notice that the opening chapter of Genesis, the only name for God is Elohim, God as manifest in the universe. Science has indeed discovered the biblical God. Well, we just leave one part left, crucial, that which created the universe is also active in the universe itself. The very fact that you're watching this now pretty much establishes that point.